Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for cancer season. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. To my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I'm currently running a competition at the moment where you can win a £200 gift card. Information is in my community section. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out there. Just click on the channel and then community section and it should be at the top there. Um, I'll leave information regarding what decks of cards I'm using and how to contact me for personal readings and my other services in the description box, never in comments, guys. Um, so go ahead and check out the description box and the competition. Um, if you're feeling lucky, it was just your season. How was your birthday? I hope it was wonderful and wishing you many more happy solar returns. Um, so let's see what we have. New love, calling in your soulmate and getting to know each other. Okay, good. Um, it did bring you a nice present, right? <laughs> this new love, it can be a renewal of um, love with, uh, if you're currently already in a relationship, your relationship might have been uh, given some beautiful energy from your natal Venus with the transit in Venus so you could renew old loves, um, renew current relationships or find a new love which is wonderful, calling in your soulmate, right? Um, so it's like pulling you together with a soulmate. So like I said, you could be currently in a relationship and feel like things are going good for you guys. Um, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens here, okay? So um, if things aren't going well in a relationship, you have a chance to talk to each other, find out what's at the root of this problem so that you can renew this love. Um, for those of you who are single, you may have met a new person. Good for you. <laughs> Let's see what we have for you guys. Okay, Gemini in cancer season. Okay, there you are, Prince of Swords, jumping out with the Hierophant. Like, I've learned my lesson. Um, I'm focused in on money. <laughs> you could be asking yourself this month for... Um, what's going to make me feel secure now in relationships? Um, I've been telling everybody, uh, the Seven of Cups has been coming out because um, Neptune is actually going retrograde in Pisces. So it's making us look at the cold half truth of these lessons. And I feel like um, with it just being your season, um, you've been shining or you should have been, um, but you're kind of ahead you know, at the moment. So you're kind of like, yeah, I'm, I see these lessons for the truth and what they are. And uh, I want to move forward with the truth. So what's going to make me feel stable? What's going to make, you know, look after me, healthy boundaries here in place. Wow. Ace of Cups with that new love. You, and Six of Cups. Okay. Um, so definitely you've got it all going on at this moment. Love will definitely be improving for you here. There's some sort of breakthrough um, with romance, which then will allow you to focus on finances here. Um, the Hierophant, uh, the, what is it? There is a lot, got, I think it's Uranus, has been in Taurus for the last three years. So two more years, it will give you good positive energy to focus on getting your wealth in order. So you could be looking at those sorts of things here memories of love um and somebody returning to your life um with the truth okay so this is somebody rushing towards you with a love offer um they might say i miss you or i love you and they're telling the truth here this is new seeds being planted even maybe it's taken a long time for this person to return to your life but nonetheless here they are um so you might be asking yourself like you know what do I actually want for the future with this uh, Princess of Pentacles? So it's planting seeds, um, financial seeds. We can see a lot of earthly energy here for you, but actually it's underrepresented in the constellation. So it's good for you to, um, you know, be asking yourself, what seeds do I want to plant for the future? And then when uh, we come around probably to Virgo season, you will have this master plan in order and it's going to be really abundant for you. Um, so ask yourself, what does abundance mean to me? Is it my career? Is it my love life? Is it wanting a family? Um, you know, the page can represent a child here. Um, so I feel like because, you know, 
with it being your season, but Mercury being retrograde, we see people returning from the past or renewals or love coming your way because of Venus lining up with your natal uh, Venus there. It's like Venus on Venus being um, in a beneficial sextile for you. So you're really getting these offers that you may have felt like, you know, I waited forever for this love offer. Now there's 10 love offers here. And that sort of energy. I've waited forever for this promotion and now it's here. Um, so you're taking stock. What does it mean to me? You're starting to move like an earth sign, this Knight of Pentacles, like being cautious. But I don't feel like it's overly cautious. It's more of a planning your next steps ahead to make the best of these opportunities with the Ace of Wands that are being presented to you. Uh, this is a like passion being injected into your current relationships, like I said, if you're in them, or somebody coming from your past here where passion is injected after waiting a long time for them with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and this is why it's got you asking, got you, you know, saying, hey, what do I actually want? Do I want this person? It took them so long to come forward and speak. You know, they blocked me, they ghosted, and now they're speaking. You know, what do I want from this? What's my plan? What do I want for my future? And they're really beautiful questions to ask yourself, right? It shows that uh, this divine lesson here with the Hierophant is um, you've overcome this spiritual lesson because you have these healthy boundaries in place and you're now being a bit more cautious or planning and saying, what what is it I want rather than doing for everybody else? Um so I like that for you guys, right? Although you might feel like you're rushing ahead or is things start to move quickly for you now, I feel that's more than you rushing. I feel things seem to move quicker now because you have the blessing of the divine here. Um, so if you're in a position to do so, um, <laughs> start investing in penny stocks and stock markets and those, I, I don't know anybody who's in those positions to do so, not me certainly, but if you are, it's a good time for you to do that, right? Um, invest in your career, in finances and, you know, seeking other things that bring security to your future. Um, so that, that really is really positive for you guys because you're going to have lots of opportunities now with the Ace of Wands, um, you know, Thank God Mercury is direct, right? Um, so for you, it's really a good time to start on um, planting these seeds, you know, with this Princess of Pentacles because it'll grow into this greenery. I feel like by the time we get to Virgo season, you'll start to see huge payoffs. So if you've just started dating somebody, by Virgo season, you guys will be in a solid relationship. If you start working on a current relationship right now and planting those seeds, come harvest time, you're going to have all this stuff to grow. I always tell people like, you know, oh, it's harvest time, it's planting time. <laughs> but it's true. There's a time for everything. Now is a time where you will be planting these seeds and look what's coming. Abundance, love. Um, I guess with this Ten of Swords, it can say, you know, it took you getting stabbed in the back multiple times for you to finally wake up and see that you need to do what's best for you. But at least you're there now, right? And you're no longer chasing anything. You're planning with patience and attracting things towards you, which is, you know, making you this empress energy. But um, Venus is still doing a lot for you right now. So this is why we can see um, love offers coming your way. Um, if you was betrayed by family members or anything like that, um, or you could even find yourself becoming a mother or you might be a new mother or a new father here uh, with this energy after a long time. It's like a long time of difficulties, um, you now being able to see your way through. So it's like the... It's like the end of difficulties here with this Ten of Swords. Um, you know, it, at one time it can feel like it's one knife after another knife, betrayal after betrayal, problem after problem. But it's the end of that now for you. So I feel like it's time to start planting those seeds and embracing these uh, beautiful opportunities that are coming your way, right? Um, whether that's working on a current relationship, somebody coming back towards you or you going back towards somebody from your past. There is definitely a love offer on the table here. 
Um, I would say if you're going back to somebody, get to know the new version of them because there's certainly a new version of you after this Ten of Swords, right? Okay, temptation. That uh, might be a Capricorn coming towards you, but that's the devil card there. Um, don't get caught up in codependencies um, or any addictions. Work on them during this time as well. Uh, it'd be a great time to kick any bad habits. Wish fulfillment. Yeah, nine of cups. That's what you want to see, right? Things starting to go your way after all these difficulties. Finally getting your wish here. Um, yeah, eight of cups there. Emotional withdrawal. So it did come from a place of, you know, having to walk away or somebody walking away from you. Um, but you now see these blessings that are coming towards you. New beginnings. Wonderful. Uh, just like we were saying, a lot of this good stuff now uh, just flowing so fast towards you. It's making you into this Knight of Pentacles like, whoa, <laughs> let me just uh, take stock. Do I want this blessing? Do I want that? You know, which direction shall I go? Because everything's starting to move quickly now where you've had this period of, you know, things being stuck. How else can we put it, right? Things being stuck, um, betrayals, ten of swords, yikes. Um, now we're seeing opportunities for you to renew a love or fall in love uh, quickly here. Um, I guess with the fool, we've got to take a chance. Uh, I think we saw at the beginning when I was breaking the deck, uh, forgive me if, if I'm incorrect, but it is safe for you to love. So I feel like you've got to take that opportunity with the full and jump and embrace these new beautiful blessings that are coming your way. The Empress, it's abundance. The Eight is abundance. The Nine of Cups is your wishes being fulfilled. Um, and Jupiter, really uh, expanding your abundance this month. Ex maybe somebody's got an expanding belly where they're pregnant as well here, but this is expanding your finances. Anything you're planting will you benefit you in the next couple of months here. Just remember the day we plant is not the day we eat the fruit. So, you know, if you're planting these seeds with these good intentions, you will reap beautiful rewards. This is your wishes being fulfilled um, later on in the year. Now's the time to start zero, right? You're not starting from the bottom. You're not starting, you know, again, you're starting with experience here. So that benefits you. Good luck, guys.